Good morning, John Walker from Akkad TV, and this morning I'm talking about making coffee. Yes, I love a great cup of java in the morning. And so I'm going to walk you through how I make a perfect cup of coffee. We're going to look at the ingredients, of course. We're going to look at the utensils or tools you need, the procedure, and then what you might add to your coffee. So let's start with the coffee. This morning I'm starting with a whole bean, 100% Ethiopian Arabica bean. And these are organic beans. So start with a great bean. The bean is the basis of what you're making, coffee. Now one of the tools you will need if you're working with a whole bean, you're going to need some type of grinder. I use this brawn grinder that you see here. It's over 10 years old. It's worked great and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, you just turn on a little light. What I'll do is I'll just fill this up pretty much. Just fill it up and put the top on the coffee grinder. Now, as I said, I'll grind it for 12 seconds. So all you do is you just hold it and I really just count. I don't use a timer or anything like that. Okay, the coffee's ground. Let's Before I drink. take the top off, I will just tap it some places just to get the loose coffee to go down in it. I'll just tap it like that. Oops, unplug it. Now I'll take it off and you can see the coffee. And you see how it stands up for. So what I have is I just have a plastic container, same one I've been using to put my coffee. So here's my plastic container. It's stained by coffee. But what I'll do is I just tilt it, tilt it, and you don't really waste any. I'll tap it on the sides with a tap. Tap, 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 and you get the coffee. You might still have some coffee in here and you can use a fork to get the remainder out and then wipe it clean. So here's our ground beans and it's ground pretty fine. It's not a coarse ground. Of course, the amount of time you grind depends on fineness. It really depends on your taste, your flavor. I find 12 to 14 seconds works for me. That is, if you like your coffee stronger, you do more than one a uh, tablespoon for perhaps a cup of water, you might do three. If you want it weaker, you do less coffee or less tablespoons. But it's a good idea to get a measurement to know how much coffee you're using per cup of water. Now I do use a measuring cup to measure water. Typically it's three cups of water or one and a half pints I bring up close to you. Just a normal measuring cup, nothing special. Water will make a difference though in your coffee. If you're traveling, you know that sometimes you want to buy it. The coffee may taste different. It's the water. So here I have some spring water, so I'm going to try the spring water this morning, see if it changes the flavor or is it about the same. We keep some spring water always handy for storms, hurricanes, and so we have to use it, have to recycle it and replace it with fresh water on a regular basis. And just a quick look inside the Mr. Coffee coffee maker as it does the coffee. And you know it has the cover that it can close so you don't see steam. And this is a pretty old coffee maker too, well over 10 years. The pot's been replaced. Uh, you can find pots if you ever break a pot and still buy the new one. A good place to buy a pot is just go to a thrift store and find a used pot for a dollar or something. Beats paying 10 or $20 for a cheap pot that's new. The older pots, sometimes the glass is much better. 
Another point, the reason I use three cups of water, I found, even though I'm the only one who drinks coffee in our family, my wife does not drink coffee, I just found that you have to make a certain amount for it to really get the flavor right. And I find that three cups is the amount you want to make. So about three cups of water, it won't yield three cups of coffee. It'll probably yield two and a half cups because the coffee absorbs some of your water. Okay, so here's a shot of my coffee maker. Another utensil you may want to have just sitting beside your coffee maker would be something to rest your spoon on. We have just a little uh, utensil rester or whatever they call it. Paper towels you always need in the kitchen to wipe up any spill. So that's my coffee maker. And like I say, it's probably, it might be 20 years old now, Mr. Coffee. Coffee maker. Every now and then I will run some vinegar through it to uh, just clean the coffee, half water, half vinegar. Uh, that's supposed to clean any scaling lime that might come from the water. Okay, what do I like in my coffee? That's a question and you see it. It's half and half. I prefer simply half and half. Uh, that's what I like, and the amount is, I like it probably like a caramel color. You'll see the color I like. Um, I might say many people like the artificial creamers, and they buy those. Yep, the natural one's much better for you, much healthier. There's hardly few or if any, um, few of any chemicals in natural half and half. Of course, you could go with just pure, real cream. That might even be better for you health-wise. Okay, folks, here we are. Here's a shot of the coffee in the cup. Before we stir it up, come over, come in slowly. Let you get a look, close look. Here's what it looks like. You see the cream mixing in. And interestingly, some of the additives in the half and half is to prevent the cream from breaking up in hot liquids. But of course, if you stir it, typically will not break up. So let's stir it up. Now as I stir it up, you now get that nice color that I'm looking for. And that's the color I like my coffee. Some of you might like your coffee black, some less cream, some more cream, but that's my flavor. And I think it's really up to you. It's an individual choice. There's no right or wrong. You find the flavor you like best. And you might be surprised that your taste changes over time. Your taste might vary as you get older, younger, different coffees. Now, what do I put for a sweetener? Yes, I do put sweetener in the coffee. So let's, let me show you the for sweetener. sweetener. I use Splenda. This is generic Splenda from Costco. So this is my sweetener, Splenda. This has been John Walker from the Cod TV. I hope you enjoyed my video. A brewing 100% Ethiopian Arabica whole bean coffee using half and half Splenda and the Mr. Coffee coffee maker. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more cooking videos, travel videos, technical videos. Once again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Well, you know, it don't mean nothing if this don't taste right. Yeah, this gotta be right. Well, let's check it out and see how it tastes. There we go. Mmm, that's some good coffee. Yep, I'll give it a thumbs up. Well, here's a question for our next video. You make that perfect pot of coffee. You're really loving that coffee, but can you reheat coffee and it tastes just like the day you made it? Well, I'm gonna answer that question in the next video. Can you reheat coffee? See you next time. This has been John Walker for the God TV. Here's a trivia question. How much does it cost per cup to brew a pot of coffee? 
The answer? Some time ago, Consumer Reports said it costs five cents to brew a cup of coffee.